Hi friends, today I am going to show you a small video about the SKM unit. This unit is most common in Gulf region and I will show you the parts and how it's work. Uh, I think maybe it will help some people. Okay, thank you. We will start. And this is the Siemens PLC. This is the main control of this package. And here there is you can see the one, one display in here we can see the temperature in the room temperature and the temperature set point in the thermostat and you can here you can program the compressor start delay and everything but I will tell you later about this and uh, I will show you another thing here you can see the compressor recycling time it will show the when the compressor wants to start. Now the time is you can see one minute and seventy second for the first compressor and the second compressor. So second compressor is um, one minute and forty two second. The time is running. Maybe it will vary. And here there is a say it will show some low pressure, high pressure uh, and in the something problem in the motor protection module or in the voltage or in the evaporator fan motor. It is something problem in the all this component it will show to this module. And this is the module and this is this extension. This both are the extension and this is the power supply. And here this is the common fault relay and uh, this one is for the power run status for the indicator and everything. This machine is works with the DDC panel that's why there is a another control. This one is uh, for manual for the we can run without DDC that means it will work through thermostat. This is the off and in the auto position it will works with the DDC mode and here you can see two switches this is for uh, we can turn on and off the compressor uh, if you have any work we want to off then we can off this is for the when we put this one on the manual mode then it will pump down and it will off and the both this for S1 and S2 for the two compressor this is a two compressor machine and it we put like this then it will automatically catch the solenoid solenoid and it will start you can see now it's the machine start now I will off this is the conductor for the compressor one and this is for the two and this is and this to relay is for the crankcase oil heater this one this is normally open contact that means when it uh, catch that time it will no no sorry sorry this one is nor normally open and this one is normally closed that means this is for the this is for the crankcase heater this and here there is an overload both overload and uh, here there is a three conductor for the fan motor and this is for the evaporator motor this is for the motor protection motor protection motor not, not for the motor protection motor this is the motor saver motor saver means this is uh, we can adjust here the voltage and here we can adjust the time delay for the start and this is for the motor voltage monitoring module this vmm means voltage monitoring if there is a voltage uh, failure we, we can set here the voltage voltage is failed the below that one or is higher than that one then the machine will trip and here is the main incoming of power supply here and this is the fuse and i will show you a short video of this. Here there is a power supply for if you want to use any vacuum pump or something for the uh, jet pump for the cleaning condenser. 
and here you can see there is a, this is the fuse for the, this controller this is the this is the Siemens surplus and here are the compressor this is the compressor this is the compressor and here you can see in there is a box inside this one here is there is a motor protection module motor protection module means it is a small compressor uh, if in the case of one face missing or the face reverse then it the compressor will not run the small compressor one only one run only one direction this is the same on the another and this is the dryer core core dryer this is the this is a one filter and this is, we can remove the filter inside the this unit and here you can see there is a two solenoid for the pump down and here is the there is a liquid line shut off valve and here you can see there is a discharge this is the discharge line and here this, uh, there is an uh, HP switch and here this is this one we can reset you can see if it's in the case of high pressure in the C in the module then we can reset here and this is for the gauge port we can connect and this is for the fan cycling switch this is uh, this is uh, have a specific range when the compressor uh, the discharge pressure is high then the fan will work you can see there is a fan this fan is working through the cycling switch there is another one this is also the same function this is also cycling switch this one is the LP switch means this is a low pressure switch okay guys this is the my small video uh, about the SKM unit uh, most of the unit is the same like that and uh, the other type uh, the inside there is a uh, evaporator fan motor but uh, this is uh, nothing special in it these are the unit you can see okay thank you I will I think maybe if you have any doubt in this type of machine please comment below I will answer later okay thank you